In this ninth video, we are going to take a look at how fees are paid to the hedge fund by the investors. The different kind of fees that are charged by the hedge funds include the incentive fees, also called as performance fees, the hurdle rate, as well as the high watermark. Hello everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm your learning partner Sushila Hariharan. The investors into a hedge fund place billions of dollars with leading hedge fund managers to manage money so that they get terrific returns across different assets in different currencies in different markets and they generate profits on the funds that are invested by the investors into them. Therefore, the hedge fund manager demands a share of those profits by way of fees. The fees are charged by the hedge fund from the investors and the two main types of fees are the management fee and the performance fee. Let's take a look at what is the management fees. The three questions that are normally asked during the time of fund accounting interviews are, are management fees mandatory? Why do funds charge management fees? And the third question is, how is it calculated? So now let's take a look at the answers to these three questions. The first one is, is it mandatory? Yes, it's mandatory. It is charged every year. It is paid by the investor to the hedge fund manager on an annual basis. Hedge funds incur a lot of expenses by simply running the hedge fund. These include the cost of trading in different markets. These include employee wages and salaries, the cost of operations of the OTC markets, exchange traded markets, as well as brokerages, commissions, etc. And these expenses are incurred across different currencies in different uh, asset classes. So manage the hedge funds therefore charge a management fee from the investors because they have to run the operations of the hedge fund. These include investments in land and building, rent expenses, wages, salaries, trading costs, brokerages and so on. Therefore, investors pay the hedge fund management fees simply for running the hedge fund. Therefore, management fees are mandatory and they are paid every year. The management fee is paid as a percentage of the assets under management. Some hedge funds charge the management fee as a percentage of the beginning AUM or the year end AUM. Different concepts of the AUM calculation as well as management fee calculation are mentioned in the information memorandum and we'll be discussing more about the information memorandum very soon. The second type of fees that are charged by the hedge fund manager to the investors are called as the incentive fees. In some markets, they're called as performance fees. Let's try and understand what do we mean by incentive fees. Let's go back to those three questions. Is it mandatory? No, it's not mandatory. Incentive fees are charged by the hedge fund only if the hedge fund makes profits. Why do hedge funds charge incentive fees? The answer lies in the question itself because incentive means you're trying to incentivize some uh, entity to perform better. You're trying to give a performance related bonus like how executives working in corporates and other institutions get performance related bonuses. Hedge fund managers charge incentive fees because they have outperformed the benchmarks. Uh, how is it calculated? Let's take a detailed look at the different scenarios of how incentive fees are calculated. Is it paid every year? No, it's not paid every year. It's paid only when the hedge fund makes a profit. So the hedge fund making a profit, calculation of identification of high watermark, calculation of hurdle, etc. are some of the multiple scenarios that are discussed in the IM that the hedge fund manager along with the GP and the LLP sign together. The incentive fees are charged because the fund manager is making a profit. This profit, even if it is consistent every year, it's not enough that it is consistent. It also has to outperform some underlying parameters like benchmarks, like the indices, like simple hurdle rates. And therefore, incentive fees are charged by the fund manager, by the hedge fund to the investors so that it motivates and in fact incentivizes the hedge fund manager to cross different hurdles of outperformance of the market. Let's take a look at a scenario. I'm only going to explain two scenarios over here. We'll be discussing some other scenarios in other videos. In this scenario, 
that is Harry Hedge Fund and Harry Hedge Fund has an initial assets under management of $500 million. The fee structure is 2 and 20. What does this mean? This means that the management fee is 2% and the incentive fee is 20%. So 2% is charged as a percentage of the assets under management, that is the AUM, and 20% is charged on a performance driven parameters. In the IM, that's the information memorandum, it's clearly stated the management fee is 2% of your starting assets under management and the performance fee is 20% independent of the management fee. So whenever we calculate incentive fee, we have to deduct the management fee and then calculate the incentive fee from the outcome. So in the first year, this fantastic fund called the Hurry Hedge Fund has generated returns of 40%. 40% returns are quite uh, high, okay, in the real world, if you look at it, even returns of 10 to 12 percent are very good uh, in most markets of the world. In fact, in the year 2022, uh, right up till July 2022, the hedge funds across the world have barely been able to generate 4 to 5 percent returns. But let's take a look at this very highly successful hedge fund called Hurry Hedge Fund, which has an initial assets under management of 500 million. The fee structure is 2 and 20, the management fee is 2% of year starting AUM and the performance fee is 20% independent of management fees, the returns is 40%. Let's explain this. The beginning assets under management is 500 million, so we can also open an Excel sheet and start the calculations uh, simultaneously as I am explaining or we can take a notepad and start writing down the details. Okay. The hedge fund returns is 40%. The end AUM is 700 million. The question is how did we get 700 million? Simple, 40% multiplied by 500 million is 200 million dollars. The fund has earned 200 million dollars during the year. It started off the year with $500 million. So $500 million plus $200 million gives us $700 million as the year-end assets under management. The fourth item is management fee. The management fee is $10 million. Again, how did we arrive at $10 million? $200 million is the... Uh, sorry... The management fee is 10 million. The year beginning AUM is 500 million multiplied by 2%. That gives us 10 million. All right. So the management fee is 2% of the beginning AUM. That's 500 million into 2%. That gives us 10 million dollars. Now let's take a look at the more complicated incentive fee. In fact, in this case, the incentive fee was very easy and very few hedge funds actually have such a simplistic incentive fee. It didn't have any hurdle rate. It didn't have any high watermark. So it was a very simplistic calculation. So now let's take a look at the incentive fee over here. The incentive fee is 40 million is the answer. How did we get that answer? Okay, we got that answer because the firm has made a profit of 200 million right the firm has made a profit of 200 million 200 million multiplied by 20 percent which is the incentive fee gives us incentive fee of 40 million so the total fees paid by the investor oh i'm sorry the total fees paid by the investor to the hedge fund is 10 million management fee plus 40 million of incentive fee and that gives us 50 million of total fees. Is this clear? This is a very simplistic case. There is no hurdle rate, there is no soft hurdle, there is no hard hurdle and therefore the fee structure is very very simplistic. Now let's take a look at so we can again to explain again the end AUM we have calculated by adding the profits. The management fee is 2% of the beginning AUM, the incentive fee is 20% of the profits that are charged, that's 20% into 200 million and finally the total fees that are charged 
is 10 million plus 40 million that gives us a performance the total fees paid by the investor is 50 million the second scenario is with the hurdle rate okay this hurdle rate is a hard hurdle rate so difference between the soft hurdle rate and the hard hurdle rate is that the soft hurdle rate is on all profits so if the firm makes profits there is a incentive fee that is charged if there is a hard hurdle rate the hurdle has to be crossed and only after crossing the hurdle we can understand that the firm that the hedge fund can charge the investors the incentive fee so let's go back to hurry hedge fund and let's look at the second scenario the initial assets under management is 500 million the fee structure is 2 and 20 the performance fee is 20 percent the hurdle rate of seven percent okay so this initial uh, items are the same right up to the management fee that is the beginning assets under management is 500 million the hedge fund returns uh, 40 percent that's 200 million 500 million multiplied by 40 percent gives us 200 million dollars profits the end aum is 500 million plus 200 million that is 700 million dollars the management fee is then charged at 2% of the beginning AUM, that's 500 million into 2%, that is 10 million. The hurdle rate, okay? Now let's understand how the hurdle is calculated. The hurdle is calculated in this IM, that's the information memorandum, at 7%. So this 7% is 7% of beginning AUM. This is the first year, okay? So the first year, the hurdle is 7% of 500. In the next year, the hurdle will be 7% of 700, all right? So the hurdle amount keeps changing, but the hurdle percentage remains the same. In this case, you have taken a flat rate of 7%. In some cases, the hurdle could also be the benchmark. So the hurdle at 7% is 500 million multiplied by 7%. That's $35 million. This implies that if the firm crosses if the firm, that is the hedge fund, makes profits over 35 million, only then the incentive fees will be paid. In this case, do you think the invest in the incentive fee has to be paid? Yes, the incentive fees have to be paid because over here, the hedge fund has generated profits of 200 million. The hurdle is 35 million. Okay. That means the amount is more than 35 million. Therefore, once the hurdle is crossed, the hedge fund will charge the incentive fees. All right. That's how the hurdle is. The hurdle is only an identifier. If you've crossed the hurdle, you can get the money. The incentive fee, therefore, is the returns 200 million minus my management fee of 10 million minus 35 million, which is the hurdle. And that is charged at a rate of 20%. In this case, the calculations come to 31 million, which is much lower than the previous case where there were no hurdles. In the previous scenario, scenario one, there was no hurdle. And because there was no hurdle, the profit, uh, the incentive fee was charged on the entire profits, right? In the first scenario, the profit was 200 million. The uh, incentive fee was charged at 20% of 200 million. But over here, we are calculating the incentive fee only after deduction of the hurdle. So only if the excess amount above 35 million is charged for the incentive fee. So the total fee is 31 million plus 10 million, that is 41 million. Okay, so 31 million is calculated by deducting the management fee as well as the hurdle from the total profits and then a 20% is applied on that and that gives us the incentive fee of 31 million. The total fees therefore charged is 10 plus 31 that is 41 million dollars. The third scenario now let's identify over here what is called as a high water mark. In this case a scenario whether incentive fees a high water mark is a mark that is identified by the hedge fund manager and the LP as to whether the fund will charge incentive fees or not. Okay, so if you look at the graph, 
you can see that sometimes the profit is increasing, sometimes the profit is decreasing and therefore the high watermark is very important to be identified on an annual basis. So let's say in year 0 the assets under management is 500 million, in year 1 the assets under management have increased to 700 million, this now becomes the high watermark. So I've put a green tick mark for that because incentive fees will be paid. In the second year, the performance of the hedge fund was not so great and the profits, the assets under management decreased from 700 million to 600 million. Since the performance parameters were not met and the earlier high water mark was not crossed, incentive fees need not be paid. In the second year, therefore, incentive fees will not be paid. What about in the third year? In the third year, the assets under management have increased. The firm has performed quite well. The hedge fund has performed quite well. And the assets under management are now 650 million. So in the third year, the assets under management is more than the assets under management of the second year, right, by 50 million dollars. But yet incentives are not paid. This is because the high watermark of 700 million was not crossed. If the high watermark is not crossed, then incentive fees need not be paid. In the fourth year, USD uh, 800 million is the AUM, that's the assets under management. Will incentive fees have to be paid in the fourth year? Yes, because the AUM at the end of the fourth year is 800 million, which is more than 700 million of the first year. So the earlier high watermark was 700 million. The AUM at the end of year 4 is 800 million. The early high water mark was breached and therefore the firm now can charge, uh, the fund can now charge uh, incentive fee from the partners because the earlier high water mark was breached. That's all I have for in this video. Thank you so much for watching and listening very patiently to the contents of this video. Keep learning, keep growing and my very best wishes to all the candidates who are appearing for interviews at fund accounting firms. Thank you so much.